Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will understand about internal latent heat. So here, latent heat or enthalpy of evaporation that is HFG. Okay, the latent heat or enthalpy of evaporation is always greater than external work done during evaporation, which is denoted by WEX. This is external work done during evaporation. Okay. If students, if you want to know more about external work done during evaporation, I have made a video on the same. The link of that video I have given in the description of this video. Please watch that video. So here now see, here latent heat is always greater than external work done during evaporation. So here if we minus uh, this external work done during evaporation from latent heat we remained with uh, some amount of heat which is called as uh, excess amount of latent heat this excess amount of latent heat is called internal latent heat okay so now see here to overcome the internal molecular forces to change the phase of substance so see this internal latent heat we required to overcome the internal molecular forces to change the phase of the substance suppose this is a solid substance and this is our liquid substance we require if if we want to happen this phase change then we require to break down the intermolecular forces of these molecules of the solid substance when this happened and this happened due to internal latent heat and when this happened we got here the liquid substance okay so now see in the for in the formula form here the internal latent heat is equal to latent heat that is hfg minus wex that is external work done during evaporation so here understand now internal latent heat is equal to latent heat or enthalpy of evaporation minus external work done during evaporation okay that is internal latent heat is equal to hfg minus wex now further see here for dry and saturated steam the internal latent heat is equal to hfg minus pvg okay here p is the pressure vg is the specific volume of dry and saturated steam okay now for wet steam internal latent heat is equal to h x sorry internal latent heat is equal to x hfg minus p into bracket x vg here this x is our dryness fraction okay so students in this video we have understood about internal latent heat thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you